Here we go, Monday morning, getting you started with the day. I want to say good morning and thanks for allowing us to be a part of your morning. I'm Marcus Washington. And I'm Laura Garcia. Hope you had a great weekend. We're starting out this morning with team coverage on the high fire danger hitting the Bay Area. We're going to check in with Bob Riddell, monitoring a brush fire still burning right now. Yeah, but first, we want to check in with meteorologist Carrie Hall because she is tracking that red flag warning. It's set to begin in a few hours, Carrie. Yeah, it's like here we go again for Solano County. We can see it all covered in red where we will have that red flag warning. Starts at 11 o'clock, continues through tomorrow evening. We will have high wind gusts along with low humidity and we know the vegetation is already extremely dry as we are going to see those winds pick up today and temperatures ramping up. Let me show you our hour by hour wind forecast because we can see an onshore wind flow for many areas except for winters and Fairfield. You will see the wind starting to shift there as we go into this afternoon into the evening. Extremely low humidity in some of those spots and that can mean a spark could spread very quickly. We saw that over the weekend and we're also still monitoring Monitoring that for you for today. And at the same time, our team coverage continues with Today in the Bay's Bob Riddell, who's tracking an active brush fire right now happening. Bob, another example of just how dangerous these conditions are. Correct and reinforces the reason why the National Weather Service is issuing that red flag warning again going into effect from 11 this morning until 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Good morning to you, Carrie. That's for much of Solano County, including Fairfield, Vacaville, Travis Air Force Base. Does not include the city of Vallejo, but we're talking about that case in point, the quail fire. Uh, this is a 135-acre uh, brush fire burning in Vacaville. 85% uh, contained as of last night. Uh, started on Saturday afternoon uh, at Quail Canyon Road and Pleasant Valley Road. Uh, fortunately, all evacuations have been lifted uh, since. Uh, this is a good time to remind you of the importance of preparing you and your family if you live in or up against the wildlands. Uh, you'll want to make sure you have 100 feet of defensible space around your home. Cal Fire, of course, telling us this as a crucial reminder that would include the removal of dead growth and trimming of trees. You want to create a wildfire action plan on how you and your family, including pets, will evacuate in an emergency and make sure everyone in your family has an emergency supply kit that includes a three day supply of non perishable food and three gallons of water per person. Reporting live, Bob Riddell, today in the Bay.